post-match reaction here at the Ark Fleet Stadium after Chatterton's 7-0 victory here against Cleeton Moore Celtic. Here with David Fish and Jack Turnbull for their thoughts on, on the match overall. 7-0 win, guys. A, a ha very happy dressing room after last, week, after last week's defeat, the way, the way things panned out. Yeah, really good today. Um, we started well and that was the difference for me. Uh, first 15 last week we were dreadful after that, I thought we were pretty good. We took that form at the end of the game last week into the, into the start of this game. And that really made a difference. They never really got into the game. What impressed me the most was the work rate off the ball as well. I know, I know it was from an attacking point of view there were seven goals there, but the work rate from 11 players non-stop for 90 minutes was, was applaudable, wasn't it? And I think that's where we went wrong last week, obviously. We were awful for 60 minutes last week and then I think the way to win games in Northwest count is work harder than the team put in front of you and I think that's and that's all I base my game on is to work harder than the person up against So It's all about doing the basics well and for mm. me one of, the, one of the, the, the basic things that you can do in every game of football is work hard, match what the opposition are doing. We didn't last week, we, we, out, you know, we out ran them today, out fought them and I actually think the front three started that. So. Jack Umar and Dwight didn't give us, didn't give the centre out a, a moment's rest and that set the, the catalyst for the rest of the team to work hard. You mean yourself spoke last week, obviously after the defeat to St Helens Town, and it was about taking the positives from that defeat because despite those three goals so early on in that game, it was a domination of the, the possession and chances, just couldn't put those chances away and then today was the complete opposite. From start to finish you took enough you know, every obviously a bit of complacency towards the end when you were six, seven nil ahead, but apart from that the work rate, the attacking prowess that was there, it was a great performance, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and what pleased me was Uma had a chance early on that he, he probably should have scored and missed, but then he, he showed confidence to keep going in there, kept making the right runs and, and he came away with four goals and was well deserved. Another thing we spoke about was last week about the warm up though. The lads didn't really look up for it in the warm up, but this time there was plenty of shouting going on right up to the first whistle and you could hear every single player out there today for the full 90 minutes giving it their all. I think it all starts from the warm-up, you know, last week was poor and, you know, I don't think the warm-up was particularly great this week, but I think it was a lot more vocal, you know, it, the intensity was a bit, little bit low, but I just think, you know, it's the way we need to start games. There's so many times we've started this season and we've been a goal down, we've been two goals down and then we're chasing the game then second half and we are a better team in the second half on paper if you look at the thing but I don't think I've never known, I've never played for Chadwick and scored seven in a game so I've, and keep a clean sheet as well which is a massive for the club. The, the keeping the clean sheet and, and staying switched on all the way through mattered for me today. It's, it's great to score seven goals and you want to win the game but we're making sure we get the clean sheet. You know, Jordan had the, probably the best keeper in, in our league and, and he's probably had two clean sheets all season. Exactly. It's, it's reflect on how poor we can be defensively and how we switch off. But today, excellent. And the team talk was wasn't really about tactics today. It was all about what you what you said. Starting well, intensity, being more vocal than them, and, and the lads responded. Great. I can see from the sidelines the way that the lads responded to last week. To, they were desperate to get a win today. After obviously Jack, he must have come off the pitch last week just feeling empty inside because you well I didn't play much last week but you dominated large parts of the game yeah I think having James Dwyer back today gives it gives us a massive boost up front like we have been we've not had a spearhead of a, of a team we've had Danny Matt but he's not finishing games and he's not scoring goals so having Dwyer up front I thought first half I one of the best performances I've seen from a centre forward it just bullied the whole back forward yeah, I think that gives everyone a boost if he sees Dwyer working hard into the corner everyone else then thinks well I've got to go for the next ball and, and then it, like, it kind of rolls on from there really